Alexandria here and welcome to the channel. If you're brand new here, I just want to say welcome to you. And if you're one of my fabulous returners, welcome back to today's video. We're going to do a another Will I Bite Samantha March style, except I'm a makeup collector. So I'm going to look at things from a little bit different perspective. So if you'd like to see a Will I Buy It from a collector's perspective, let's go again and get into it. So for those of you who don't know, like I said, I am a makeup collector. Some people collect stamps. I like to collect makeup. So if you enjoy that, you should definitely consider clicking that subscribe button down below as well as the little notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from me. So today we're going to do a collector style Will I Buy It. I haven't done one of these in a while, so let's go ahead and start with the first product. So the new Fenty Beauty Highlighter, it does retail for $34 and it is a beautiful silver highlight. It is called the Diamond Ball Out, I believe, Kilowatt Highlighter. Now, normally the word limited edition gets my motor running. I love a good limited edition product, especially as a collector. But this is just one particular product that I'm not going to be picking up only because I feel like this shade would not look good on me at all. And it calls it a universal shade, and I love that they are donating to charity, but this shade does not seem like something that would look good on me. I don't know, I'll have to see some more like swatches and see it on some other skin tones, but I'm just pretty sure I can't pull this off. And so even though it is a limited edition from Fenty Beauty, I am going to skip over this particular product. Are you guys picking up? Let me know in the comments. All right, the next thing I want to chat about is the new ColourPop with Kathleen Lights, their new Zodiac collection, specifically the Zodiac palette, although I won't be picking up anything from this particular collection. This is just a situation where the colors didn't speak to me. Like I said, I am a collector, but that doesn't mean I collect everything all the time. I'm sure those of you who are also collectors know that not everything you necessarily want in your collection. I like the idea of it, but I was more drawn to the Wet n Wild Zodiac collection, so I decided to pick that up as opposed to picking up this particular color pop set. The palette looks pretty, but it doesn't feel very cohesive to me. And a lot of times I won't pick up palettes that don't look cohesive because I don't know what to do with them. So, and this one just doesn't feel very cohesive to me just based on looking at the way that they have the shades. And I know the shades are intended to represent different zodiac signs and not so much go together per se, but I think I'm still gonna skip over this one. Next up, I want to talk about the new shades from Stila. These are called the Vivid and Vibrant, and they have six new shades. We've got Smoky Quartz, Vivid, uh, Labyrinth. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, Vivid Jade, Vivid Garnet, Vivid Sapphire, and Vivid Amethyst. So these look absolutely beautiful. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of these Stila Glittering Glows, and I have quite a few. I am quite curious. I might pick up the shade in Vivid Amethyst because I'm on a purple kick right now. So I'm thinking about either Vivid Amethyst or that Vivid Labyrinth. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right still, but those two are kind of catching my eye a little bit. They do retail for $24 and are at Ulta and Sephora. So I might be picking those up since those are available now. I might order that purple one to go with the Norvita palette that obviously I'm going to pick up from Sephora. So, no, not Sephora. I'm going to buy it Ulta. Anyway, so for those, I think I'm going to pick up maybe one or two shades, but we'll see. All right, so next up I want to chat about this palette from OPV. This is not a company I was super familiar with. It looks like it is called the Rainbow Splash Palette. 11 matte shades, 8 shimmery shades, 1 metallic and mirror, and the cost on it is 29 euros, so apparently it is a European brand, which is why I didn't um, recognize the brand name probably. But this is another thing that is going on the I'm not going to buy it list, only because this looked super familiar to me, and I was like, why does this look so familiar? Because it looks like the Violet Voss Flamingo palette that I already own. 
So I'm definitely going to be skipping over this one, not because the colors and the shades aren't beautiful, but it just seems really similar to the color scheme they have going on in the Violet Voss Flamingo that I already own. So I am going to go ahead and skip this one as well. Are you guys picking up? Do you know this brand? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Alrighty guys, so that's going to do it. That's all I've got for you for today. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it fun and you enjoyed the collector perspective. And if you did, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on future videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.